Hey, K Hand 187 back with another video for the Nikon Revolution Pro controller for the PS4. In this video, I'm going to try to keep it brief. It's what I've been running for Rainbow Six Siege. Got a couple people asking what I've been running. I've been saying I'm going to make a video. Kind of slacking, so here it is. Sorry for the delay. And hopefully it's helpful for for anyone out there. And comment in, the, in uh, let me know what you like, what you've been running, what you prefer. Share some ideas and whatnot. Uh, first off, got new Control Freaks. Got the Alpha on the left stick. It's a very low rise, uh, concave. The right stick is Destiny. Kind of a hybrid concave convex. And so far so good, I like it. Um, now it is, they're for PS4, so you still gotta do the, <laughs> the the plier trick for the left stick. Bend those tabs in and uh, be on there good. Somebody did comment that the Xbox One, they used the Xbox One control freak on it, but they still had to bend it. So it's not a direct fit. So I think you're gonna have to bend any one that you do get, because that le the top of that left analog stick is pretty small diameter. Enough of that, we'll go, we'll get in the software here. Uh, so I keep, uh, four profiles on the, the controller. Uh, profile four is pretty much a stock setup, except right analog is, is a zero dead zone. And I do have that for all of my setups. What I've been running uh, lately is uh, this setup for the right stick, 25-50-25. And I gotta give a shout out to YouTuber J-I-B-E or G-B. He uh, commented that that's what he is running on Destiny. So I was like, you know what? What the heck? We'll give it a whirl. Throw it on one of my profiles and try it. Uh, I have another profile. It's just linear. Stock out the box, except for the dead zone, zero. So that's always there if I want to revert back to a linear control. And on my profile three, I have uh, taken that setup and that adjusted setup and kind of tweaked it more 20 60 20 I haven't got a I got a lot of time uh, using that so still kind of experiment with it with it but what's nice is you can just change in game with just hitting that profile button changing your profiles from you know one through four real easy on the fly now as far as my other setups here in the software Triggers on all my Siege setups uh, so far, and uh, they will not change. Got the zero start, the 50 end. It's practically a hair trigger without a mechanical stop. Uh, just the slightest input on the trigger is uh, you're either aiming down sights or, or firing. So it is very nice, and which leads to some you know rapid fire semi-auto. So it's pretty cool. Um, button mapping. So, face buttons are pretty much the same, except R3, and probably everybody out there has experienced it, um, R3 on Rainbow Six Siege is melee, and during a gunfight, sometimes panic knife occurs, which will pretty much lead to a certain death. So I reassigned R3 to the left arrow, which is simply spotting in the game, you know, just a yellow tag on something. So, instead of panic knifing, if I, you know, if I happen to panic hit that R3, it's simply going to be a tag. So, no harm, no foul there. Now, I took the, uh, the R3 and I assigned it to one of the buttons underneath, as well as L3. Your L3 and R3 are, are your lean when you're aiming down sights. Pulling the left, pulling the L2, and then, uh, while that's held in, you click L3 or R3, lean right or left. I have them set up on the outer buttons, which, quite frankly, are perfectly placed on uh, on your middle fingers. They're, your middle fingers just lie right on those M3 and M4 buttons, so very easy to hit. You know, it's takes a little adjustment period. I will say that it took me a little bit to get used to it, but it is real nice now. So now I can uh, now that's my melee underneath there, the uh, M3 button. And while I was at it, I changed the, uh, I used the other two buttons. I said, why not uh, change them, put square, 
on the M2, which is reload, and then circle on the uh, M1, which is your stance, you know, stand, crouch, or go prone, which, uh, quite, it is, it is a little get, a little, uh, a little hard to get used to because it's not a natural button there, you kind of, your, your finger's kind of out of the way, it's hard to explain without actually handling the controller and feeling it, so, I have been using that. And uh, occasionally I'll revert back to one of the face buttons to uh, to do so. But uh, that's my setup there. Um, I have the the uh, the rumble vibrations, pretty light, because uh, they can be. I mean, you can crank them up, but stock to like 50, which you know what, a little too much, so I turn them down. Now here's what I have noticed. Uh, when I did get the controller. And did a firmware update right out the box. There was I, I, I already read that there was going to be a new one. I had an issue on Rainbow Six Siege that my name would constantly be up as if I was speaking on the mic. It was, you know, it was, it was a little annoying, but I kind of just got used to it as well as everybody else because they had no choice. So for the whole time, Khan One Eight Seven XL is on the screen as I'm speaking. Now, if I unplug the mic, it would. Uh, it would disappear. Even if I'd mute it, it would still stay up. But since the last time I checked, I was like, you know what? Let me uh, let me see if there's a new firmware. So there was a new firmware, and it did take care of that. So which which tells me they are constantly updating stuff and uh, fixing bugs. Which that was a small bug. Now I've been reading things on the the analog sticks that they are flawed. Personally, I I really haven't experienced it on Siege. I'm doing just as well as I did with the PS uh, the the DS4, if not better. Um, but I have watched videos on it, and it's quite alarming. Uh, YouTuber JIBE or GB, um, he brought it to my attention because I was kind of oblivious to it. So, in the description, I will share the link to the uh, Reddit page discussing the Nacon stick flaw and a video that somebody, uh, you know, you'll, you'll see in the video how, uh, how alarming it is to see these, uh, the analog stick, how jumpy it is. It's kind of, I don't know how to explain it other than like jumpy. It's not a, it's not a smooth linear movement as, as it shows in the, uh, when the, when the guy, Puts, hooks up the uh, dual shock so hopefully they're gonna be able to fix that via software and firmware updates uh, the youtuber GB said it's at this point for him on destiny it's it's unplayable so he went back to his scuff like I said for myself I haven't noticed it uh, which which is crazy because when you see the video it's the cursors jumping all over so Maybe I got lucky. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. So until then, uh, I'm going to be running it and uh, frequently checking for the firmware update. But that's about it. That's my Siege setup. Uh, like, subscribe, comment in the section. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're running. Any questions on it, I will... I. I reply as soon as I can, so I reply to any question that is in the comments. So just pretty much just trying to help people out there get get some more uh, get more word out on the controller. So thanks for watching, and uh, until the next video, thanks. Later.